It's Saturday, October 19th. I'm on Mallorca, and this is the first episode of a monthly series where we talk about structural engineering, personal experiences from the industry, and my journey creating content online. Probably most of you haven't seen me talking directly into a camera. Well, it is the first video on YouTube where I directly speak into a camera. It feels weird and un unfamiliar, but we'll get better at it the more videos we upload. It's kind of also the point of the series where we drop the perfectionism, um, we sit down somewhere different every time and talk yeah, about life, work, self-development and sports and of course structural engineering because that's what we do here at Structural Basics. So why am I starting this series, documenting my snippets of my life as a structural engineer? Number one, to share insights of my successes and failures and struggles being a structural engineer and of my life in general. I'm hoping you can learn from it. Number two, there aren't any vlog type channels out there on YouTube from regular structural engineers. Yes, there are a few content creators on YouTube like Brendan Hasty, Matt Pickerdahl and Ben Hilscher, but they are sharing more technical structural engineering content behind their desks and they are doing a fantastic job doing so. I, I love watching their content and I'm learning a lot from it. But this series will be a bit different. This is the series I wish I had when I was still in university or even before that when I didn't even know I wanted to study structural engineering because I want to share kind of like the life of structural engineers, how their yeah, job looks like, um, what the benefits of the job are, what the drawbacks are. And yeah, I hope you get value from it. And at the same time, also entertainment. For those of you who don't know me, let me introduce myself. I'm Laudin, I'm 27 years old and I'm originally from Germany. I did my bachelor's in civil and environmental engineering at the University of Innsbruck in Austria and my master's in architectural engineering with focus on structural engineering at the Technical University of Denmark in Copenhagen. I'm a structural engineer and for the past two and a half years I've been building Structural Basics, which is a platform that teaches structural engineering to anyone, could be structural engineering students, someone who just wants to renovate their house and wants to learn how to design a timber beam or a steel beam. Structural Basic has a weekly newsletter with over 8,000 subscribers to this day. By the way, a link will be in the description below. A blog with around 30,000 monthly visitors and this YouTube channel with about 1,900 subscribers. So how do we structure these vlogs? First up, I want to share the story of the month. This could be a personal experience, a learning or an insight. Something like a skill I learned on a project or a personal learning from, let's say, living abroad or studying at university. Second, I'll include a structured tip of the month. This could be something like an explanation of a static system, like, for example, how this balcony works or like how a bridge works. Then lastly, I want to give an update on the development on structural basics. Things like how many new people have joined our newsletter, the community, um, yeah, on the YouTube channel, how many people have visited our blog, our homepage, and what I've been working on and what I'm going to work on. Just giving you a little pieces of insights of like how I'm actually creating structural basics and how I'm creating all this content stuff. But this is the first episode, so nothing is set in stone. We'll change and adapt as we go. Um, we will get better at this stuff. Um, I'm probably mumbling a lot right now. We'll probably also get better at talking to a camera. I feel still weird doing this. But um, we will also, of course, incorporate feedback that we get from you guys, what you want to see. So leave a comment below, um, just yeah, recommending stuff that you want to see us talk about and I'll, I might include it next time. Okay, so let's get started with the story of the month. 
And I shared this recently on Substack as a note. Curiosity is bigger or is actually more important than knowledge. Over the last years, I worked with a lot of structural engineers, some with a lot of experience, some just graduated, some had student jobs during their studies, some didn't. To me, there seems to be a pattern that the best engineers have the best. The best engineers I worked with were at the same time the most curious ones. They don't pretend to know it all. They are lifelong learners. They study in their spare time. They are obsessed about finding solutions. They are honest about what they don't know. And they share their knowledge with others and like to teach younger engineers. Structural engineering is so complex and every project demands new solutions. We simply can't know it all. Okay, um, structure tip of the month. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to be a real quick one because we had such a long introduction today in this first episode. So we have two beams, one simply supported beam on the left and one cantilever beam on the right with pin and roller support and fixed support and both are exposed to a line load. What I want to tell you about is that they have a different bending moment diagram, of course. So, but the, the thing is that for the same load, the simply supported beam has a positive bending moment, while the cantilever beam has a negative moment. And that has an impact if the beam is a reinforced concrete beam, because for positive bending moments, we are designing the reinforcement in the bottom, the longitudinal ones. While for a negative bending moment, we are designing the beam with a longitudinal reinforcement in the top of the beam. So this was a quick one, as I said. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see in this part, the structure tip of the month. And I will look at it and maybe include it in the next one. Okay, so update on structural basics. As of today, October 19th, we are 8,583 structural engineers subscribed to the Structural Basics newsletter. That is up by 842 people from 30 days ago. Then uh, we had 44,974 people visit our homepage, Structural Basics, in the last 30 days. And on YouTube, we have grown by 108 people in the last 30 days. So there we are now 1,938 people subscribed. Okay, so this was episode one of this new series. I hope you get value from this. I hope you will return and I see you in the next one. Peace.